What is happening guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Something a little bit different for you today. Now some of you may or may not have heard of a shop called TK Maxx. Now a lot of people go there to buy designer brands at reduced prices to hopefully get some kind of bargain. Brands such as Calvin Klein, Timberland, Alexander McQueen, Gucci and Nike. Now, I recently came into a little bit of information on a certain cheat code, which a lot of you may, or again, may not have heard of. Now, this code helps us find out which brands TK Maxx are selling are genuine or made by TK Maxx from an outsourced company mimicking that designer brand. So what I'm gonna do is go into TK Maxx and buy a genuine pair of underwear, and then also buy a pair of the TK Maxx mimics underwear and see if there is any difference between the quality and the style of the underwear. But what are these so-called cheat codes? So the three key numbers you need to look out for are number one, number two, and number seven. Now number one means it was made to order and therefore produced by TK Maxx. Number two means it's a closeout buy. So it's a stock that they got a deal that was existing stock that's unsold from another brand. And number seven is what they call a pack away, which means it's been packed away from another previous year. But where are these cheat codes? So realistically, I'm guessing you'd want to go for number two and number seven, as you know that they're going to be the actual brand that you're going for. But is the quality actually as good as number one? Let's go find out. Let's go to DK Max. Let's go to DK Max. Let's go to... Let's go. The test is complete. Did I notice a difference? I think I did. Cheat code number one. Reebok. Cheat code number two. Elise. Alesse. Elise. Aless. Whatever you call it. Now with the Reeboks, I could instantly tell that the fabric was definitely not as thick and the quality wasn't there. Around the waistband, you could see here that it was obvious where they joined it. You wouldn't usually get this in a good quality pair of underwear. You still get it, but because it's around the front, it was a lot more obvious. The fabric was a bit more flimsy, so I can definitely see these kind of riding up. The stitching on the waistband wasn't as good as a decent pair of underwear. As you can see, it's around the front, and it's obvious where they've connected it. Threads, again, there was one here, there's one here. You could feel the quality of this pair. It felt a lot cheaper. The elastine wasn't really there on these. The waistband was also a lot thinner. Cheat code number two, generally a thicker band. There was a thread, which I pointed out in the video. There's a little bad boy here. You're gonna get that on some pairs. Again, the connection on the waistband with a genuine pair, it's not on the front and it's not obvious. However, they still need to connect it, but it's on the back and you can see it here. The Reebok pair, actually the price went down from 33 pound down to 16.99, down to 11 pound. Elise went down from £20 down to £10.99, so it was actually a penny cheaper to buy the actual brand. I mean, you can see a difference, 
and you can definitely feel a difference. I mean, the genuine pair was 1p cheaper and it was the best quality. But overall, in the future, would I actually make a conscious effort to keep an eye out for these coats? I think I would. Anyway, I hope that was to some kind of use for you. If not, oh well. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be wearing a lot more underwear, so hopefully I can review a few more. And yeah, like the video. See you soon.